Okay, so if you're dividing radicals, and it looks like this, well, first off, what I do is realize that there's always a couple of ways to go about this, right? For myself, I like to be as lazy as I possibly can. I'm guessing you do too. So what I would do is immediately say, well, the 12 and the 4, they're both, both coefficients they can reduce. 4 becomes a 1, the 12 becomes a 3. Secondly, I'd remember this handy little thing, that if I want to, I can look at something like root 36 divided by root 2, and realize that's the exact same thing as root of 36 over 2 all inside there, right? You can just use that distribution idea, in which case that becomes the square root of 18. You with me so far? Okay. So what I would do then is write this as 3, and then uh, I'd put the x down here, and I would rewrite this as one big radical, okay? If I w write it as one big radical, and you get the 36 over 2, right? So 36y to the 4th over 2y. One sec. Then I would reduce the 36 and the 2 to get 1 and 18. And then the y to the 4th and y, what happens? y to the 3rd up top, right? So this becomes 3 over x. And then inside my root, I've got 18 y to the third. Now, 18, what does that become? 9, Nine times 2, so just 3 root 2. So I have 3 over x, and then 3, and how many y's can I pull out? Group of 2, so it just becomes a 1, a y1. You're left with 2y, right? All of that is on the top, so I get 9y root 2y over x. 